Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you three things, mapping your domain name, securing it with SSL, and installing and testing Runcube Webmail. In the previous video, I showed you the basic settings of Webman, which is our mail server. In the video before that, I demonstrated how to install a mail server on Ubuntu. Now, let's connect our IP to the domain, secure the domain with SSL, and install Roundcube. You might have seen Roundcube and cPanel. It's the same webmail client we'll be using. First, I'll copy the IP address we have. Now I'll paste it here. If I set the TTL to 1000 here, it will get indexed quickly. We'll put the IP in both the records. The first one will be for our main domain. The second one will be for the subdomain server.domain that we set up earlier. We need to add all these domain records here. By default, this one is taken automatically. If you're using GoDaddy, you can keep the default host. There's no need to change it. After that, I'll click here. The records are now set. After some time, this domain will be indexed and you'll be able to access it. After domain mapping, we'll install Roundcube. We'll install SSL only after the domain is indexed. First, go to Install Scripts. In the Install Scripts section, you'll see the available scripts. Check Roundcube and click on Install Options. Here, I'll click on Install, select MySQL, check New Database, and click on Install Now. The latest version has been installed. I'll click on Return to Script Information. We now have the URL for Roundcube. When you click on it, you'll go to the Roundcube login page, but our domain hasn't been indexed yet. So it's not accessible yet. I'll use the IP address to see if it's working. I'll click proceed if there's a security warning. Roundcube is asking for a username and password. To set this up, click on edit user. When you click on edit user, you'll see an option to add a user to the server. Here, you can create a test user. For demonstration purposes, I'll create a username test, set a password, and click Create. I've created a user here with the name test at domain.com. I'll enter the password and click on Login. Now that I'm logged in, I'll click on Compose to create a new email. I'll enter a recipient email address, add a subject, 
type a message and click send. An error message appears. Please enter at least one recipient. I realized I had written the email address in the subject field by mistake. When I click send now, I get an SMTP error. To fix this, we need to go to the file manager. Navigate to the round cube folder. Inside, you'll see a config folder. Go into it and edit the config.inc.php file. Click on Edit to open the file. Look for the SMTP user and SMTP password section. Delete the %u and %p placeholders, then save the file. After that, refresh the page. Now try sending the email again. Enter a recipient, subject, and message, then click send. Look, the message has been sent successfully. I'll refresh the inbox to check if the message arrived. I'll check the spam folder as well. The email has arrived. You can see it's from the test user we created with the domain name we set up. Our server is working. In upcoming videos, I'll show you how to configure SMTP username, password, and hostname. Now, let's check if our domain has been indexed. It hasn't been indexed yet, so I'll wait for a while. I'll pause the video here. Now that it's indexed, I'll copy the domain name and paste it here, followed by the port number. After checking, it will redirect you to the login page. My login username is root. I'll enter my password and sign in. After signing in, you need to go to the server configuration. Go to configuration, then server configuration. Scroll down to find the SSL certificate options. Here you'll see all your domains. I'll enter this domain. And the second one was server.domain.com. I'll enter this and click on Request Certificate. Sometimes it doesn't work and shows request failed because it's connected through an API, so it might not always be successful.
I'll try again with another domain. I'll attempt to request a certificate for that domain. It's working for the main domain. It says applying to web server. I'll click on return to virtual server details. Now I'll run it and see if the SSL certificate has been applied. I'll open a private window and check the site with HTTPS. The SSL has been installed on this domain, but it might not show us secure right away due to cached cookies on my PC. It should show us secure after some time. If I clear my cookies and refresh, the site should display as secure. In the next video, I'll show you how to set up DNS, MX records, and other email related configurations. There's a mail tester tool we can use. For a demo, I'll send an email from here. For this test, I'll copy the email address from the mail tester site and use it as the recipient. I'll add a subject and send the email. After sending, I'll click on Check Your Score on the Mail Tester site. It will show you your email server score. Right now, the score is 3 out of 10. We'll aim to get it to 10 by fulfilling all the requirements for SPF, DKIM, Mark Records, and other email authentication methods. Getting a score of 10 means that you've met all the requirements that email providers like Gmail check, such as proper MX records for your domain. This email test checks everything to ensure your emails are set up correctly. If all these requirements are met, there's a good chance your emails will be delivered to the inbox rather than spam. We'll cover this in our next video, or we'll set up everything in the DNS records. We'll also use a domain with proper TXT records. That's all for this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Many videos related to email marketing and other topics are coming soon. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and thanks for watching.